Professor Dubeli, first I would like to welcome you into Telma Television. It's a pleasure and honor to have you in uh, our studios. Thank you very much. And I will, I will immediately start with the tough questions. Uh -huh. A few days ago, we had an incident on the Macedonia border with Kosovo, nearby village of uh, Goshince. Right. The Ministry of Interior uh, named that incident as a terroristic act. Right. So, uh, my question will be, is this the first sign that the Macedonian deep political crisis is deteriorating into a security crisis? Well, let me first of all say on that incident, I think it's very important to say we're very thankful that no one was injured in it uh, and that people's reaction thus far to it, what I have seen, uh, has been measured and calm, looking into to what happened. And with all political parties and all actors, as, as best I can know, uh, condemning the incident. So I think that's uh, very good. Um, I have spoken to the Macedonian authorities about that and assured them that we uh, take this very seriously and if there's something we can do as they look more into the details, we're certainly prepared to do that. Uh, I think it's also very important that the government of Macedonia be in touch with uh, the government of Kosovo to work on uh, border security. That's something we have helped facilitate in the past. Uh, and we're prepared to do that. In terms of what this will lead to, uh, I'm not going to, to speculate about that, but I think it's important uh, to note, uh, the, as I said, the, the calm with which I think people in general uh, have reacted to this. Um, I was referring to that as maybe some kind of escalation from the political crisis, but you're right, we are speculating if this will happen. But the political crisis in Macedonia is a uh, reality of Macedonia. Uh, until now, we didn't see uh, huge involvement from, from Washington, from uh, United States, into Macedonian political crisis. But um, I have to say that um, last Friday I had a meeting with the uh, American ambassador in OSE in Vienna. Right. And uh, uh, last week, Koiti. Uh, a uh, senior official from the State Department was here in Macedonia. Uh, is that a sign that uh, the American administration is uh, now involved in uh, helping uh, the, re the resolving of Macedonian political crisis? Um, I think we've always been very concerned about this if you go back to our statements uh, since these uh, revelations uh, began coming out. This, is, this concern is not new. I think it, it, our concern, though, uh, has been growing. Um, and let me give you the perspective from which we approach this. We are a friend of Macedonia. We've worked, we admire the progress that this country has made in its 25 years of independence. And we want to see Macedonia join the EU, though we're not a member of that, and NATO uh, as a prosperous, vibrant, multi-ethnic democracy. I think that, uh, as we look at this crisis, I think that is a goal shared by almost every Macedonian I've met, regardless of party, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of religion. So that's how we approach this issue. We are concerned because uh, this crisis uh, has, has two aspects that are both concerning, both the revelations and how those came to be, the, the conversations, and then what they uh, suggest uh, in the content uh, about issues of concern about the state of Macedonian uh, institutions. As we said last week, we think it's very important to look into both sides uh, of that issue. Okay, I, I, maybe, maybe I should reformulate mm -hmm. my, my question. Yeah. Can we expect direct involvement from some kind of American diplomat as a facilitator or negotiator? You know that, uh, that uh, on, on this stage, sure. on this level, in Brussels, the, the government party and the opposition party are having some kind of talk, some kind of dialogue mm. has been going on with help or facilitation of, right. the, of the European Union. My question is, uh, are the Americans are going to help into that process because in the awkward negotiations be, uh, before the framework agreement, we had uh, European Union and right. American negotiators. Well, I can assure you uh, that the United States is in very close touch uh, with the, the European Union 
in discussing our approaches to these issues. We're supportive of the uh, effort that the European Union is, is making. We're willing, uh, we are lending our voice, I think, as you saw, uh, as you noted last week, not only in the European Union, but also in the OSCE. Um, and so I think that's a measure of concern. What specifically we'll do? I think the key question, though, is at the end of the day, we international partners can help facilitate. We certainly are ready to do that. But it's going to be up to Macedonia's leaders and ultimately its peoples to come to, uh, to resolve this crisis, to, uh, to get out the facts, and also to make progress so that they can realize that future uh, that, again, I said, I think unites this country. Uh, European Union, because you mentioned that you're working closely with European right. Union. Uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, for the first time, uh, named that this political crisis is real, real political crisis in Macedonia. And uh, they issue a statement in which uh, they call for the Macedonian authorities to respect uh, the values of European Union, sure. especially regarding uh, rule of law mm -hmm. and uh, freedom of media. So are you sharing that view with, with your uh, European partners? Yes. I mean, these, uh, the, the, these revelations uh, raise uh, serious allegations. And I say allegations, I can't uh, verify everything independently myself, um, uh, about questions of, of rule of law, about judicial independence, about election issues, and about uh, government relations with the media. So I do think these are very important issues uh, to, to look into. Um, I think they have resonance in part because these are issues which in EU Commission reports, in reports out of the OSCE on media or on elections, and in our own human rights reports, these issues have come up. So I think it's very important that the government, as we have said, treat these allegations seriously, as seriously as they, uh, as is being treated the uh, uh, allegations uh, about concerning Mr. Zayev and how these uh, recordings came to be. So, as, as far as I'm understanding you, uh, the, the political crisis has clearly two aspects. One is legal, right. that should go through a judicial system, right. and, the, and the other one is, is political. Okay. Uh, we are talking now about the, the judicial. Mm -hmm. uh, there has been ongoing investigation with the public prosecutor about the so-called uh, affair of CUP. Uh, um, Cup is cup of cup of state against against Zoran Zayev. You are suggesting that uh, the the prosecution should also investigate the allegations from that taping, and that that content can be can be relevant for uh, for judicial prosecution. Uh, I think when there are serious allegations, uh, I, I think what's important is then that there are serious allegations of broadly stated uh, of, of government abuse of power, those are, those are very serious for any, any government. And it's important for a government to, uh, in this case, first of all, ensure that those are taken seriously, and also to ensure that the processes uh, that will look into that enjoy, uh, enjoy credibility um, and to take measures in that. In this regard, I think there is, there is, as you said, a judicial process, and that has uh, its, uh, its uh, structure and timelines. But there are also other institutions within Macedonia that uh, should or can uh, be involved in this. Um, the Ombudsman has already launched a series of questions. I think his questions need to, to be answered by state institutions. That's the, that he's doing his job, and I think others need to cooperate with that. The State Electoral Commission, the Anti-Corruption Commission, and ultimately I do believe that uh, parliamentary oversight committees uh, can, can play a role. Those kinds of things have played a role when scandal has hurt, hit my country as well. Um, and so I think it uh, is also important uh, that the uh, government, uh, uh, that the opposition, excuse me, uh, participate. They have a particular role to play in uh, parliamentary oversight, and I hope they are able to do so. So you, you are touching now the, the, the second part of, of the right. crisis, and it is the, the political resolving of the right. crisis. Uh, you are repeatedly uh, referring that uh, the, the right place to resolve 
the crisis in the parliament, which means that you are calling mm. the oppositions to come back into parliament and we should resolve, I mean, we, Macedonia should resolve the crisis inside that institution, but uh, from the, and it's it's very logical point right. of view, but from the other side, uh, the opposition boycott the, right. the elections immediately after mm -hmm. the closing of, of ballots, and uh, they had their arguments then mm -hmm. why they should not participate in the parliament, right. but now they had even more arguments not to come back into that institution, so uh, what what kind of process shall we expect? What kind of promises or guarantees ha the opposition has to gain to come back in, in the parliament? Well, I think those are those are the kinds of things that are likely subject uh, to political negotiation. There are rules of procedure and so forth in parliament, um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm sure the opposition would answer those questions and would likely want uh, to have some. Uh, to some, some reassurances that the process will go forward. Again, what I said is it's important that the government take the allegations uh, seriously and also take steps to ensure the credibility of the inquiries uh, or investigations, depending on what it is, as, as they go forward. I can't say uh, uh, precisely what that will be but they have to be there because the credibility of the process which will lead to uh, letting the people know ultimately what happened is, uh, is, is very important right now. So my, my, my mm -hmm. final question will be that. Uh, there are, let's say, two main mm -hmm. uh, suggestions how this crisis should end. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is that the, mm. the, uh, one of that one of that is that this mm. this uh, crisis should be resolved through uh, institutions mm -hmm. in Macedonia, mm -hmm. the parliament, the mm -hmm. judiciary, etc. The other one mm -hmm. is uh, coming from clearly from the opposition, mm -hmm. and they are saying that those institutions mm. has lost their credibility, mm -hmm. and uh, they think that this crisis should be resolved by uh, early elections mm -hmm. and uh, some kind of expert government which should prepare those those elections are you are you thinking in what 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 direction should be should be the right one ultimately i'm a i'm an american diplomat these are these are for questions for macedonian citizens to decide that said i can say as an american that when faced with similar crises, we've had, there, there's, and the need to establish uh, uh, credibility in the investigations or the inquiries going forward, we've had uh, situations that required recusals, uh, reassignments of people involved where there are conflicts of interest, uh, suspensions, and yes, even, even, even resignations, not with a, not with a goal to uh, establish guilt or culpability, but just to ensure uh, people uh, that the investigations will go forward in a, in a credible manner. Um, I think what's also important is for Macedonia to reassure its citizens and its international partners of its commitments uh, to the values which undergird uh, the European Union and, and, and NATO, the democratic values and that there are measures that uh, the government uh, can take right now. As I referred earlier to commission reports, I referred to OSC reports that could reassure uh, and improve the institutions that Macedonia has, uh, has, has, has worked to build over these 25 years. I don't think those require uh, political negotiations. I, think, um, I don't think good governance should be a matter of, of political negotiation. Ambassador Bailey, thank you very much. Thank you. For um, the and, and just one last part. I think it's very important also that Macedonia move uh, quickly to resolve this crisis. The rest of the region uh, is moving forward, and it's very important that Macedonia move forward too and not be left behind. Um, it's a very fast and competitive world, uh, and we want to see Macedonia uh, succeed in it. Thank you again. Thank you.